So guys, we're in Munich. This is the center. This looks exactly like every major European city. Check it out guys, Christian Adan. How insane. It sounds impressive, but when you actually go to the church, there's like 20 people waiting for the actual ceremony, which is being like summoned. So it's not really even comparable to a regular prayer time. It looks nice though. But there are Muslims everywhere here. It's from all, everywhere I can see a woman in hijab. They're taking over, bro. Highest purpose in life is to worship God. People don't do it. Everything you see in Munich has to be had to be rebuilt. Most of it. Even the churches and all the buildings, they are like rebuilt after the war. Hitler actually uh, stayed in Munich quite a lot and he used to come here a, little, a lot more than in Berlin I mean this was I think this was his fan base here mostly this is where he kind of got popular from what I know so the whole city was leveled but look I mean they have rebuilt the entire country in less than a hundred years not even that like what 70 80 years uh, but yeah, it's quite unfortunate. You don't have these historical things as in the other parts of the Europe Yeah, this building it's like it's drawn Things are drawn on it because yeah, it's quite new. I mean life here is pretty good You know like this is the, the richest country in Europe. So people have good life They make a lot of money. Um, there's a lot of money here like incredible amount And there's a good infrastructure for Muslims a ton of Muslims live here not sure how many, but I think more than a hundred thousand for sure live here. And it's much more open and welcome to Islam here than in Czech Republic or Slovakia. People have even representation and you can see Muslims everywhere around you. And it's not strange. So Islamophobia here is very low compared to other countries like France or something because Germans have to be nice because they did some bad things. Look how beautiful this is, but it's all new. This old, like look at the, the things, it all looks like fakely old build, you know, it's fun. but it's magnificent, I mean, it's amazing. Now it's an empty, abandoned giant, but people have lost the connection to the spirit, so it's worthless. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just a sightseeing now, it doesn't serve any purpose. I'm gonna pray Maghrib inshallah in a mosque and grabbing some halal burger I have never had a halal burger because I usually keep when I'm going for a burger I keep a veggie patty but this time I'm gonna get halal burgers mashallah, inshallah. this is the mosque guys the wudu is done in the other room inshallah It's a nice mosque actually, mashallah, I feel the vibe. So guys, they took over, look, this shop, Iranian food, there's Afghanish, Afghanish halal restaurant, so if you want a halal burger, this one is called Taste My Burger, and it's all halal, please taste my burger. I haven't tasted it so far, but it should be okay, so. And we got some burger. Pretty good, halal, got the fries. I think we're gonna go to Juma in this place. Mashallah. Look at it. Look, there's even a voodoo spot here. I love the voodoo outside spots. This is like one of the oldest mosques here, mashallah. There's so many mosques here I could choose. This is like the oldest and the biggest one. It's called the Islamic Center, it's outside of Munich. Mashallah. It's like a whole complex of madrasa and stuff. It's like really old and a minaret as well.
It's very cool mosque. We stopped by in a very small town or a village, I should say. It's really nice. And we're getting some halal kebab from a Syrian guy on the corner, He's serving kebabs also raising money for kids in Syria so we came to Regensburg it's about an hour and a half drive and I'm gonna visit one really cool mosque in Chal. good thing about Germany is like there's six million Muslims you can see them everywhere and it's just a numbers game it's a numbers game in about 80 years majority Muslim it's under construction this is the city <laughs> German cathedrals similar to Cologne but under construction one part but quite big for such a small city I think this is like the original one pretty amazing stuff really beautiful out here Thank you. No. wow check it out oh, this is giant wow next level look at the floor the ceilings everything is like this is a real cathedral that's where you pray no one's here but this is where you pray now it's mostly tourists look how magnificent the buildings are the best buildings in Europe are about Christianity and now it's made fun of that's all it became just a joke for people. Masha'Allah. <laughs> Check it out. What a beautiful sight. There's a bridge. It looks like a very small Prague, to be honest. That's Danube that goes through Slovakia as well. It's our main river. <laughs> Cathedral in the back. And ton of Muslims on the bridge just like 50 big families let me let me show you the Muslims so you know I'm not lying look at the entire the entire path or let's say sidewalk to, to the island it's all Muslims down there <laughs> look at this guy Romans we're all alone in the church wow look at this place empty 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 no one's here guys check it out behind me what a beautiful mosque in Regensburg really big let's pray <laughs> Check it out guys, how it looks outside, like it's brand new mosque, beautiful, look full, people are praying inside, finishing Maghrib, not sure what kind of like nationality, it looks very Bosnian Turkish vibey. Guys we are in the last German town on our road trip, it's called Passau, it's very nice. Um, behind me uh, and it's right on the border of Austria so we're gonna spend some time here get some lunch and then go five hours and hit Slovakia again that's how you drive in Europe it's really cool got some market action going on people selling stuff if I was a Muslim let's say from some other country and I would be thinking of where am I gonna go um, it would be either Germany or UK so my question is, you see all these churches, all this amazing architecture, infrastructure, history, everything basically, but where did all the Christians go? Where did they evaporate? There's supposed to be like 2 billion, but it's like 2 million maybe in the real world. Because most people just identify as Christian, but they didn't do anything. Did they disappear? Somebody kidnapped them? What happened? 
No, they lost Iman, they lost faith in their religion. Why? Because there, there are so many problems with the, with the religion, you know. Simply at this point in Europe, in all European countries, it's just culture. In my, for example, it's more practiced, but still it's just culture. There's nothing left. Um, people don't believe in God. Some people don't believe in God and they identify as Christian. So then, you know, what, do you, what are you saying? That's just kind of a label you're putting on yourself. But it's, it doesn't mean anything. So if you hear these numbers, they don't mean anything. There are no Christians left in Europe. So the thing is, loss of Iman is the basics. Why people lose Iman or faith in their religion? Multiple reasons. Looking at the Ummah and Muslims, it's like the most important thing is the Iman. You can have a caliphate full of billion Muslims, but if they don't know the basics of Islam, it doesn't mean anything, the caliphate is useless. You need people who want to do Islam, and they only want to do Islam if they understand, and if they have Iman, if they understand Tawheed and who Allah is. It comes back to Iman, do you have faith, do you believe in this, and how Iman is built? You know, there's multiple things, you have rational evidences, you have uh, spiritual experiences, you have first hand experiences, you have the Quran, the preservation, all these things can build up your Iman. And I think that's what people should do. They should go back to finding their Iman if they don't have it. Because it's gonna end up like this. This is gonna be like Middle East in 50 years or 100 years. People just seeing mosques and no one's in, in them and just like no praying, nothing. So be careful. Really cool. Death, death. That's the thing, like, you can't escape death. Like, you can either choose to live in this world, just for this world, and that's gonna be your life. Cool. Or you can live for the hereafter. You only have these two choices. It's impossible to live for the both. So if you choose the hereafter, you have to obey by the rules. If you don't, you, you have no rules and you can do whatever you want. But the hereafter will be a problem. Because you don't believe in it and it's an issue because death is coming for everyone. So why not prepare? Look at his legs. It's crazy. It's not even a duck. Who are you? Man?